Kia ora. My name is John Mutagri, and the word I'd like to discuss for Māori Language Week is Aotearoa. So to pronounce that, if we break that into its syllables, it is Aotearoa. It's the last but I think we have the biggest trouble with. It is the roa. It is, we really want to roll that R, and it is, sounds like something that is uncooked, roa. And if we run that together, ao te roa, ao te roa. Now, legend tells us that when Kupe, the first chap to discover this particular island, they arrived in the Hukianga at dawn. And it was his wife, Kura Marotini, who named these shores Aotearoa. And the translation of that could be land of the long white cloud. Now, a number of years ago, some family friends of ours came to New Zealand and they are from Uopo, which is a small island in the Marquesan group, which is northeast of Tahiti. And their language is very similar to Māori. And when they arrived here, they said, ah, we can see why you call this land Aotearoa. To which we said, okay. And they explained that where they are from, very close to the equator, that the dawn and dusk is very quick. But as you come further and further away from the equator, it slows right down. So that here in New Zealand, it takes quite a long time comparatively. And they said, it is obvious why they called it Aotearoa, Land of the Long Dawning, which is a different translation of the same word. So it is possible that the founding of this country was actually based on a mistranslation, which wouldn't be the first time that that has happened. Aotearoa.